Okay, welcome to another lunar flight video. I was having a lot of fun with this earlier tonight, and I noticed something when I went through the, uh, when I was kind of reviewing my videos just to make sure that, you know, they recorded okay. I noticed something that I think, uh, that I thought would help me maybe improve my flights quite a bit. So let's go to uh, map three. I like, kind of like that one the best at this point. So I decided to go ahead and record at least one more video tonight uh, for Lunar Flight. And I'll show you what I noticed here when it loads up. Let me get the mic positioned better. Okay, so again, we'll switch power on by doing that method. I still think that's probably about the easiest. And uh, bring up a mission. And I also have spent a little bit of time figuring out how the uh, how some of the other missions work, or rather I should say how the uh, Lost Cargo mission works. So let's actually do that. So I can just kind of show that mission, because I've, I've done the data survey, now I know how that one works. And actually, you know what? Let me not do the Lost Cargo on this map, because this map, again, is a little more difficult. So let's stick with Transport. Put that on the nav. Now turn the UI off. What I noticed, and, and I don't know, I don't really know why I don't notice these things when I'm, like, actually flying. Maybe it's because I'm record, or I mean, when I'm recording videos, I mean, I don't know why I don't notice these things while I'm recording videos, but this is the center position. You can see, you know, as we're sitting here on the landing pad, it's, it's not maybe as obvious. I was, for some reason, thinking that we needed to pitch to where... The uh, zero indicator, you know, here you have 10 degrees pitch, zero degrees pitch, negative 10. But when we're flying, I kept wanting to pitch until this, uh, until the zero position was like right here, right across that. For some reason, I thought that was the zero position. But when we're sitting here on the on the landing pad, it's obviously not. As we're sitting here level, straight forward, this is the zero position. So part of the problem I was having in the previous videos was I, I was I was pitched. Uh, you know, like 20 degrees off center. And that, so that was part of it. Um, the other thing I've found is that I can make use of the lock, the uh, throttle lock with the, with the Xbox controller a little bit more easily than I could with the keyboard. So let's just do some flying here and we'll see if we can improve at all. So full throttle. And we'll actually do a throttle lock. I still have problems like getting the throttle to lock like at a good spot and when you reduce the throttle it's so slow when you know when it's locked it's just it's so slow it's hard to uh actually hang on let me over i'm overshooting the yaw so let me just get okay so maybe this first flight won't be that great because i'm talking so much but all right so Again, here's the zero position, so we're perfectly level, and for some reason I kept thinking that, uh, like, this was the zero position. Like, right when that zero would be underneath of that, I, and I don't know why I thought that, I just did. And that's why I kept saying that this was in the way, but it's not in the way, because this, this zero position is down here, or rather the... Uh, the indicator of where we're pitched at is that are these two lines, these two horizontal lines. So right now we're pitched to about 20 degrees. Okay, now let's uh, pitch forward some more. We've got a really good vertical rate, so we can pitch way down. So now we're pitched all the way to 80 degrees. And again, I'm using the throttle lock at this point, so I don't have to keep throttling up and down. It's a little bit easier with the Xbox controller to use the throttle lock. Uh, but again, the the increase of the V-rate and the decrease is just, it feels too slow to me. I wish there was maybe a way to, to have the option to speed it up so that when I'm putting in, you know, when I need to quickly change the the speed or the power, I can do it faster. But again, maybe it's just, you know, I just have to get used to it. Um, translate to the right because I'm obviously a bit off. I'm still not sure what's going on with the roll. Like, you know, I've got this 
15, 14 degrees of roll. I still haven't quite figured out what that's all about. Okay, we've got quite a bit of velocity at this point, so I don't think we need any more. So now I'm at zero degrees. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm flying straight, or uh, I'm not sure if straight's the right word, but... Now I unlocked so I could sort of manually control the throttle, because the, even with the throttle lock, it's still just, eh, I don't know. Okay, we have uh, 700 meters to go. Let's put in some more yaw, because we're still not lined up with the base, apparently. It's getting close, though, actually. Yeah, it's really close. So let's take out the uh, translation to the, to the right. Yep, now we're actually overshooting, so what we should really do is roll to the left, but I don't want to tempt that. So let me back way up. So now we're pitched to, that's almost 90 degrees, that's too much. So put in, so we're pitched to like 80 or 70, what is that, 78 degrees or something like that. It's not, you know, it's not up here, it's down here where you can tell where the pitch is at. And of course I'm overshooting the base. I'm still going to argue that we need to have V-rate and H-rate. Zeroing out the V-rate. I'm headed straight to a mountain here, so let's not do that. I need to, let me roll this way. Clearly, we need to go to the... Okay, now take out that roll. And again, I'm not going to worry too much if I get this one successful or not, because I had to. I was trying to explain a lot of stuff there at the beginning, and it, it's hard to completely concentrate while you're doing while you're talking on about this stuff. Okay, backing up, I think. No, we're still going forward, apparently, so. Okay, now we should be basically backing up. Now I need to roll the other way, that way. Take out some of that sideways movement. Nope, oh, I did that too soon. Okay. All right, let's I found out too you can buy additional fuel, which I should have done. Should have should have did that before I took off. So I'm just going to abort this flight, basically, because it's completely screwed up. And then we'll do it again. I don't want to buy some more fuel. The thing is, I'm not sure if um, if when you buy additional fuel, does it increase your mass or not? It should, I mean, because if you're carrying more fuel... Alright, let me just see where I'm at. Above the landing site. Let's do a complete rollover here. Let's see if we can at least touch the ground somewhat softly. power and eliminate some of that vertical speed. Yeah, we're gonna run out of fuel. All right, let's try again. Without all the talking, 
or without all the explaining. Okay, power on. UI on. Transport accept. Put it on the nav. UI off. All right, now here we go for realsies this time. Oh wait, I want to shop. Fuel. Oh, I already bought fuel, okay. Oh, I guess you just can't see it unless the UI is on. So, uh, and you can't actually see the fuel modules. They're behind the webcam, they're behind, they're behind where my webcam sits. I guess I have to move the webcam over a couple inches, but basically they're just these, these this F thing that you see here and these icons that you see up here. I have three Fs right below where the webcam would be. And I guess I just click on those um, mid-flight. I don't maybe have to be landed first. I'm not sure how to use them. Okay, take off. And yaw to the left. See, my biggest question, I think, for the developer would be at this point, you know, if, if regarding the throttle lock, how in the heck are you supposed to get the throttle locked at a good spot? Because when you press the, the trigger, it's, it's like all or nothing. It's impossible to just get 50% power and then lock it. So now I'm waiting for the vertical rate to come down. Let me pitch way over so we can go forward. We've got a long ways to go. Full power on the main and all that, most of that velocity is in the forward. A little bit of right translation. Let's actually go to 90 because we just need to go straightforward basically. Oh, there we go. It actually seemed like it, it locked into that position or something. Okay, now I'm descending. Oh, yeah, that's a beautiful background though, or that outside view. I wish I had uh, Oculus Rift. This game was like one of the first games that was made uh, to work with Oculus Rift. Not sure when that's going to be available for the consumer. I don't really want to buy a dev kit because I'm not a developer. And, and I think they're still kind of expensive. I'm hoping the consumer version isn't super expensive. Take out some of that right translation. I guess actually we still need some of that right translation. Okay, let's begin breaking because I never seem to break on time. And again, the reason I'm not breaking on time is because this is telling me, this isn't telling me how far away I am from the landing pad. It, it includes the altitude, and I keep forgetting about that. So in addition to V-rate and H-rate, we need distance, you know, horizontal distance to the pad. That's it. I don't care what my distance is vertically. I mean, I've got that on the altitude. So. And now I'm going to crash again. Maybe. No, I'm going to actually survive this time. Oops, I put in some roll. I didn't mean to do that. I'm just trying to get rid of the roll. 
All right, I'm going to touch down here and refuel. <laughs> so yeah, I guess the roll here is relative to the terrain that's under me. I guess that kind of makes sense. I just hear it say warning. Hearing bells. Oh. Ah. Scared the crap out of me. Okay. Didn't mean to fly off the map. Okay. Power on. Mission. Slip nav. Off. Power up. way forward. Don't want to pitch more than 90 degrees though because then technically you're pitching into the ground. Probably 80 degrees or 85 would be the most you'd ever want to pitch. <laughs> That's a great view. Some right translation. Being super dangerous here, all going all the way up to 20 meters per second. So let's start breaking now. Nine hundred, eight hundred from the landing pad, but a lot of that's altitude. Is there a way to switch the navigation so that it only gives me the distance to the, it only gives me the horizontal distance? That's what I want. Where's the base at? Okay, it's still down there. A bit left translation. Bringing the velocity vector around, you can see that uh, that circle. Okay, now we're on track for the base. We shouldn't be moving too terribly fast forward because our velocity is 5.3 but four meter almost four meters of that is is the vertical rate see I have to do that calculation in my head I have to say okay this minus that is my is my horizontal speed I'd much rather have a V rate and an H rate and of course since I'm pitched over like this I'm actually increasing my velocity my forward velocity so let's back up that's way too much. Okay, let's see if we can lock our hover, which unfortunately you have to basically go to 100%, lock it, and then spend seven minutes holding down the other trigger to eliminate a bunch of power. That's one thing I do find very aggravating. The alternative, alternative is to have zero power, lock it, and then spend seven minutes raising the power. Translating to the left. Okay, 
Let's take out some more power because we our vertical rate is still positive. Actually, let's eliminate the lock. Now relock. Okay, we are in front of the pad, uh, left, right at least. Let's, let's translate over the right. But again, I have absolutely no idea how far in front of me it is because the this number includes just, it's all altitude basically. And apparently I'm past it, so. And not surprising, I'm going to crash again. <laughs> I'll save what fuel I've got left to see if I can at least touch the ground without crashing. And I've actually got a bunch of pitch in there. So that happens by mistake. And that's bad because then when you apply power, it's giving you uh, forward velocity, basically. How, okay, we're still at 100 meters, so braking, slowing down our descent, see what that looks like. Gonna run out of fuel. Yeah, I'm not gonna have enough fuel for a soft landing. I don't think I can refuel mid-flight. Oh, yeah, you can. Okay, that's good to know. All right, we're good. We can do this. Okay. Er, I just want to apply partial power, darn it. Why can't I do that? That throttle lock sucks. Just doesn't freaking work. Power on. Okay. New flight. New motivation. Let's go. Screw the throttle lock. I'm not even going to try to use it. It's just, it's just irritates me because it's so unintuitive and stupid the way it works that I'm just not even going to try to use it. Okay, full power. Yaw over to the left. And eliminate the yaw. Pitch way over. Got plenty of vertical rate at the moment. Uh, pitch too much. There we go. Let's see what that looks like. You don't really get a good appreciation for just how much you're pitched over until you see it on the external. I don't really understand that F3 camera. It's like, what is it? Coming and going, coming and going, I guess. Anyway. Enough of that. Get ready for the braking. Okay. 
okay, now 1,200 to go, but 400 of that is altitude, so we should be like 800 feet from the pad. Or 800 meters. Eliminating the vertical speed and also slowing down. Okay, so 700 f from the or the navigation minus 270 altitude, so we're like 350 from the pad. See where it's at. It's down there. And then our forward movement is let's zero out our V rate. So our forward movement should be like five meters a second. It's because our, our V rate's zero, and we still have a velocity of about six actually. So let's pitch back. Pitch too much again. Okay, should be stopped horizontally. Now, okay, V rate is. Let's see if we can do a throttle lock now. So the V-rate is about 10, so we're moving forward at 0.38. Oops, wrong button. And our distance to the pad is about, so 442 minus altitude 300, so we still have 120 meters to go forward. It'd be so much simpler if it just had the H rate and then the, you know, the distance to the pad horizontally. I don't understand why it has to combine this stuff. Okay, so we're still moving forward. Let's actually look forward for a moment. That'll increase our velocity a little bit. Okay, we still have to go down. Let's get rid of some some power. Start descending a little faster. Actually, let's cut the power. Just drop like a stone for now. Maybe some of these other cameras are can help. Maybe the other cameras just confuse me more than they help me, though. Like, what does this mean? This means absolutely nothing. Go put in some power. That shows me where I'm going, but... I mean... doesn't really tell me anything because it doesn't necessarily tell me that I'm on target let's refuel mid-flight Feels like cheating. Wonder how that works. I mean, if you can refuel mid flight, I mean, why not just have a bigger fuel tank? So 
if I can get the little throttle to lock without, there it goes, it actually locked at a good place. A little bit more throttle, a bit more left yaw. So this camera is actually helping me because now the velocity vector, which is the plus, is pointing to where I'm actually going. So I can now use that information. Just going very slowly. Um, I should, I should actually put in some forward translation, speed this up, take out some throttle though. MS, what is MS down here? Meters per second, but that's probably not what that stands for. More power. MS, MS. I wonder what that stands for. Well, at least we're on target this time. Let's see where we're at. Okay. Why am I pitching? Pitching like crazy. How long have I been doing that? Didn't even notice. Now we're not on target anymore. Now we're climbing. Okay, I don't care how much fuel I have to use, I'm going to get there. Even if I have to use all three of my fuel modules. I wonder where that pitch comes in from like there's just a subtle amount of pitch that creeps in even when you get your vessel at like zero more power I wonder if the MS is like how, what it thinks our landing speed is going to be oops I didn't mean to roll power uh, less power refuel yeah here again just that incremental power is so slow to react. Hmm. Okay, I just looked up and I realized I'm over 30 minutes on this video, so as soon as I crash or land, go ahead and end this part. More power. And I hit something. It's messing me all up. I'm stuck on a cliff apparently. Or apparently I'm stuck on a graphic glitch. How do I get off this wall? <laughs> Riding up a wall. Okay. All right, well, I don't know if I'm improving or getting worse, 
But uh, anyway, if you liked the video, hit the like button down below. If you didn't like it, hit the don't like button. You know the drill, and I will see you in the next video.